Hello. I mean, typically the studio looks like a big giant hamster cage, you know, it's like ankle deep in paper scraps and I'm like cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Because I started doing this work to get away from graphic design, get away from, from um, computers, because I was spending my entire life on them. And um, what I find a myself doing is emulating in this work, is emulating a lot of the things that I really liked about the computer. There was a big article in San Francisco Magazine recently that sort of took me to task for that, um, saying that I was you know, a designer and not an artist, but um, what does that mean? <laughs> I think that all of those distinctions have become so blurred and so fuzzy, um, and that's why I just sort of disregard trying to categorize my work and trying to fit myself into any of these categories. So I start off, um, you know, I, I, a lot of what I've done through art school and, you know, through the whole history of my work has been um, this immense appeal that I have about painting, but I don't want to be a conventional painter. And so I'm always sort of strategizing my way around a conventional brush stroke on a canvas. And for years, when I was painting with encaustic, I painted with knives and sticks, stuff trying to um, get away from just conventional painting. Then I started doing the collage pieces, which basically started off as just a real primal sort of personal exercise of um, doing something that was pretty much the opposite of what I was doing during the day, which was running a graphic design business and sitting in front of a computer doing computer design all day long. Um, so I started um, at night when I would finish the graphic design stuff, I would sit and cut up magazines and make tiny little collages, little eight by 10 collages. It sort of made my little ticket out of graphic design because I kind of developed this um, style and this visual, visual language and this kind of visual vocabulary. Are you rolling? Rolling. Bring it. I think, I think about 10 years ago, I started making up um, fake antidepressant names. I started titling um, a lot of digital pieces with these fake um, um, antidepressant and mood stabilizers names. And then so, so I sort of took that strategy and just applied it to these sort of plant-ish based pieces. Worked in record stores in Colorado Springs for, I think, about four or five years. And then came to San Francisco um, 
And, you know, as the legend goes, I got in my car from Colorado Springs in frustration and drove straight to Tower Records down on Bay Street and demanded a job. Um, and at first they didn't give me one, they told me they weren't hiring, but I went in every day and was so persistent after about three or four days they hired me and gave me, gave me the job. And then I, I didn't have any place to live, so I lived in my car um, for about three or four months until I got an apartment. But, um, you know, music, 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 music. My world is just um, painting and making art all day and being DJ. Primarily, this is the music station um, where all of the all the CDs and the records and stuff are maintained carefully and played relentlessly. Part of the contract was, you know, I was paid. Um, you know, between two hundred and four hundred dollars for doing the posters, and then um, maybe I'd get tickets to the show. Skeeter, come here! Come here! Come here! Can you drop? No. They seem really great. You know, like I. I when I first see things, I'm hypercritical of them, so I tend to not like a, a lot of stuff. Hey, Sugar! Hey, I'm here. I I'm here. You're here too. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you get the box? I did get the box, good. and then we raced right down. Awesome. Yay. Looks beautiful. You happy yeah. with it all? Oh, yeah. Good. It's great. Good. We're still making a few tweaks for tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, the stuff looks really, really good. It's yeah, just it's insane. Really It's great. It's great being Rex. Full timers. Full timers. All the time. Yes, it is. Exactly. The lifers. The lifers.